you get what you get, and you don't have a fit. And then if you do, you fend for yourself. It's you running through my veins. Your love runs through my veins. What is up, family? Long time no talk, I know. Like, I just, I haven't been doing anything, really. Like, we just been bored in the house and we was in the house bored like we wasn't doing much of anything at all homework wake up do more homework go to sleep like it was the same thing over and over and over again so i didn't pick up a camera a phone or nothing but it's time to go grocery shopping guys and the best part about it i got an empty car like I got to leave the boys at home. I can go by myself without having to say, don't touch that. Keep your hands in your pockets. Like, it's the best part of the day, getting to do stuff by yourself. But okay, let's go in the store. Let me go hop in line because they only allow a certain number of people in Aldi at a time. So let me get in here before this line gets outrageous. I've got my mask on. Getting my Aldi bags. Look good and crazy. I made it. Mama, I made it. And it honestly wasn't that bad. Like, the line seemed like it was really long, but it wasn't. Like, it was mostly just people sanitizing their carts before they went in there. And there was barely anybody inside the store. So able to move about freely didn't have to worry about bumping into people touching people nothing it was wonderful but we got food and i don't know like i'm so excited like i really don't have kids in the car right now this hasn't happened guys in months this this is like a miracle i feel like i should go do something while i'm by myself but i got ice cream in the bag Damn it. Back home I go. Alright, so I'm back home now. Um, I need to make dinner, but like, yo, this weather is crazy. Like, it went from being like okay to now it's just plain old hot. Like, I am burning up. So if you hear the fan in the background, just ignore it. But like, I need it. It's crucial to life right now because it is hot. And I was going to like make a whole big dinner type situation. Like I got sweet potatoes and I was going to make them like make with some macaroni and cheese. But listen, it's too hot. You know how high it would be if I had to turn on the stove and the oven to make sweet potatoes and mac? No, it, it was a no. It definitely a no. So now I'm trying to make a calmer, cooler version of dinner. And I don't know what it's going to be. Hey, then. What can I do for you, Thomas? I do not want to eat that. That second thing, macaroni and cheese. Remember the first time when I ate when Mama came over? It came in on my nose and mouth. Oh, my goodness. Yes, I know. You're lactose intolerant and you can't have the cheese, but... Honestly, you just wouldn't have had any on your plate. That fixes that problem. So, mommy now has to figure out something to eat for dinner. What am I going to make? That's not going to heat the whole house up. Oh, and I didn't even like record like everything that I bought from the supermarket. So, we might do this like the real a new kind of way. I was going to say like the real ghetto way, but it's just new. It's not ghetto, it's new. Okay? It's new. I'm going to just show y'all everything that's, because I've already put it all away. Like everything's in the pantry. I'm not about to pull it out to set it up on the counters to go. No, I'm not. Like, it's too hot. Alright, so here we are in the pantry. Don't mind how semi-bare it is. Like we did a complete purge of everything that was in here. Okay? So... A lot of things got thrown out but got my cashews I got taco shells um some more of my granola and I got coffee 
honestly I had thought that we had thrown this coffee away but we didn't so now I have two coffees I mean you can never have too much coffee right and then in this bag I have the extra sugar we have to hide it from my children so it's trying to like disguise it with the bag but whatever we got spaghetti noodles elbow noodles rotini noodles down to the third shelf more cooking oil pancake mix spaghetti mix um all that's old stuff and then cereal on cereal on cereal on cereal we eat a lot of cereal so i got a lot and then some cans of baked beans because my boys love beans so yeah that's everything for the pantry <sighs> oh wow okay and again we did a purge um got chicken nuggets some ground turkey as well as ice cream and I don't know why that's in the freezer yeah and I think this about it some ice cream and then French fries on french fries on french fries on french fries because my children love it and I'm not about to fight with them over what they're going to eat for dinner. You want french fries? I got all the french fries. So, taking it down to the refrigerator, I got my yogurt and what else in here is new? I got lettuce, I got oranges and strawberries. I got bread. There's my lettuce. Um, you can get up my good old salsa and sour cream. So that's everything. I hope y'all enjoyed that very speedy version of, um, I don't know, what do you call it? Like a grocery reveal? Like, I don't know. That's what I bought, okay? Like, y'all saw it. But, I still don't know what I'm going to make, guys. I had taken some chicken out to unthaw while I was at the supermarket, so I think I'm going to cut that up, cube it up, and then they can, like, put it over rice or something. Mama, High chunk. I'm not being a baby, too. Come on, Booski. Mm -hmm. You're too heavy. Oh. You weigh a million pounds. You're too big. Mm -hmm. yes. Why do you headbutt me? Mm -hmm. No, you're squishy. But okay, let me keep this stuff up so I can feed them and then they can go to bed.
has turned into a dinner for one because my children have decided that they don't want to have chicken and rice and anything else that I cook. They expect me to make them a whole new meal. Lies, deceits, I will not. Um, so I told them they can eat like cereal or a sandwich, like something that they can make themselves because I am not Molly's maid and I will not be making separate meals. No, I will not. You get what you get and you don't have a fit. And then if you do, you fend for yourself. That's the second part of that phrase that they leave off. You get what you get and you don't have a fit or you fend for yourself. So now they're in fend for yourself mode. I, on the other hand, I'm gonna to continue to make my dinner. <laughs> like, I don't even make separate meals for my husband. What would I make separate meals for children? It's no, it's a no. It's a no for me, dog. Like, it's a no. So I put all the chicken into one pot with my soy, honey, and garlic sauce. That was that sauce that I poured in there. Um, it's as simple as it sounds. You take some soy sauce and you take some honey and some garlic and you mix it all up and you put it over top of your chicken and just let it soak in and marinate and just delicious. And then I'm going to put that over my cauliflower rice. So that's what I'm going to have. I'll see y'all later. How's that cereal tasting, guys? Good. What about yours? What does it taste like? Delicious? Wonderful? Mm -hmm. But it is. The day is done, y'all. Like, ate dinner. Theo went to bed nice and early. Watched some game shows. You know, just family quality time and all that good stuff. But now I'm exhausted, like, and then I had to help Thomas with his homework because I kind of forgot about it a little bit that it was due today oh, by eight o'clock. So we had to rush and do that. And then I had to send them to the teachers. Like, I can't wait until the school year is officially over. Like, we got two more weeks, two more weeks, and then it's done because I'm over it. Like, I'm over 2020. I'm over the school year. I'm just over it all. But... Good night. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. I mean, why not? It's free. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.